Good morning. Welcome to another daily devotional thought here at Fairview Lutheran Church. We're beginning a study of Judges. I'm going to use that as my daily devotional and then share some thoughts from the Judges with you. In chapter 1 of, of Judges, we see how the Israelites go on their campaign to possess the land that God had promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And even though they had done a lot of the conquering with Joshua, they still had some things that they were to do, which is drive out those remaining in the land so that they would not influence them negatively when it came to how they were to live and, and how, how they were to worship God. And many of them did, did that. But as you read along in chapter 1, you get to about chapter 27, and you start hearing things like this. But Manasseh did not drive out the people of Beth Shan or Tanakh or Dor or Iblam or Megiddo and their surrounding settlements. Nor did Ephraim drive out the Canaanites living in Gezer, but the Canaanites continued to live there among them. In verse 30, neither did Zebulun drive out the Canaanites living in Kitron or Nahaloi, who remained among them. In verse 31, nor did Asher drive out those living in Akko or Sidon or Aleb or Akzib. In verse 33, Neither did Naphtali drive out those living in Beth Shemesh. It sounds cruel when we begin to study the history of Israel and, and God saying to get rid of the people who are living in that land. But it was for good reason. Have you driven out the things and the, the, the people around you that cause you to fall to temptation? And sometimes it's hard because they are very near to you. They are close to you. They have done things that, that you probably think you owe them for. But God wants us to live for him. And so there are times in our lives when, when we must drive out, drive away from, say no to those things or those people that we know cause us to fall into temptation. Lord, today we ask that you would be with us all. And as you say in the Lord's Prayer, lead us not into temptation. Give us the strength to avoid temptation and the ability to stand up against it. May God bless you as you fall not into temptation. Amen.